I know that you mined my dog and my friends and family's hearts to raise money for yourself. And he told me that was the most offensive, horrible thing anybody had ever said to him. That dog saved my life at least two times. Um, when I first got out of the service, I was depressed. I was having nightmares, um, bad, bad memories about some things that happened. Not war-related, but other things that the military does to you. I was very suicidal. I would start crying and for no reason. And uh, if I didn't have that little princess with me, I probably would have not been here to speak to you right now at least two times. I was homeless at the time. I had broken an ankle really bad, couldn't work for a year and a half, so I couldn't pay my rent and I was evicted. I was living in a tent on the side of Route 9 in Howell, New Jersey with my dog, um, and she had already had that growth growing. It was getting bigger and bigger by the minute, it seemed. Um, I finally decided to take her to the vet to see what they could do to have it, take, have it removed, and they gave me a $3,000 quote. He said he was very, um, very respected. He was very, um, he, he had he had his feelers out, and he, with his charity, it would help me very much to get to get the uh, uh, money in a sooner amount of time than later. So we we raised three thousand dollars in two months, maybe three months. Um, it was six years ago, uh, and as soon as the money came through, I was like, "Great, we can we're, save your dog. We, if we can get it right in, get this done." Mr. DeVolder did not, or Santos, uh, decided that he did not want me to use my local vet. Uh, he wanted me to use his vets in Long Island or Queens. I don't drive, I was homeless, and I paid a ride, I paid a friend to bring me up there. Uh, to I, his vet. To, to his vet. vet. I paid the tolls, the gas, lunches, and uh, DeVolder was supposed to pay me back for that. I even was dumb enough to give him my my bank account and my routing number because he said he was going to put the money right into my account. Never happened. That was when I started smelling something fishy. And and you never got a dollar of the money. Never got anything. He said, uh, I have no clue what he's talking about. And the crazy part is that anyone that knows me knows I'll go, I'd go to hell and back for a dog and especially a veteran. So this is just more of the pile on effect. I have dozens of people reaching out to me in support, sharing their stories about their dogs and cats that I helped save and rescue. What do you each say to that? Prove it, show us. <laughs> you know, he should show us if, if he has all these people that, 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 that reach out to him and that love what he does and stuff. It's not, it, it, no.